Welcome back to another Fast Food Toy Reviews video review. Today we have McDonald's Stompers that are 19 cool little toys released all the way back in 1986. So not only do I have the 16s toys from the display, I have the two under three toys and I actually have the mail away fully motorized stomper there mcdonald's mailway exclusive and one of the happy meal boxes we're going to take a look at too so anyway let's get them opened up and have a little fun so there are 16 different little toys to look at so we're going to kind of go through these really quick we're not going to fuss around too much so we're going to start out with this red ford pickup truck you can see it's just a basic four by four and what's cool about these little toys is that they have each tire is independent from each other so you have four individual rolling tires and they have like little spring-loaded shocks in here so no pullback feature or anything wasn't sure what to expect when i first got this years ago but there is no pullback feature which kind of bummed me out because i love the pullback feature and the zipping around and stuff so you would think they would have added that but that's okay i don't mind and then we have an orange one that's exactly the same so basically there's no exact number on these we're just kind of kind of go in any random order we want here and on the side of each one you can see there's number 23 on the front it reads stomper and on the back you can see the word ford right there so basically this some two-door ford pickup trucks four by fours and that's it so there you go we'll roam along and show you what they do just kind of spring and bounce around and off they go the next two up are the like four by four vans if you will so this one's red with yellow striping and this one's yellow with red striping and on the side you can read it reads chevy four by four and we'll give you a little spinneroo so you can take them both in. So I believe you're gonna have like two versions of the same one going across the board here. So I think there's gonna be like eight different ones with a secondary version. So it'll give you a total of 16 different vehicles in the base set. And here's a look at the underside right here. And very cool stuff. So there you go, like a little spring shock action going on and they roll along quite nice and there are little rubber tires on there it's actually removable just like the authentic stompers that you can get they're all kind of removable you can take them apart and customize them and stuff so there you go the next one's up reads 74 on there and these are like kind of like uh, buggy four by fours kind of neat and they got the eagle on there 500 horsepower let me give you an up close look right there so let's see this one shows up even better right here so we got the eagle 74 500 horsepower you know not bad for the little happy meal toy from back in 1986 so we have the orange one with some like purple dark purple pinstriping coloring on there and then we have a black one with a kind of like an off gold color if you will they look kind of cool so you can see the good detail considering what these are they're not bad they're quite the collectible and the age of the toy these have held up quite well over the years i don't see a whole lot of yellowing in the white you can see the white inside the rims there there's no yellowing whatsoever and so yeah that's about it with these two and off we go next we have the little s10 trucks which are kind of cool i actually owned a little s10 years ago and back in the day when i was coming up one of my first trucks was a little s10 and they're kind of cool little trucks you can still probably find them today and let's see here on the back it reads chevy so we got the black one and the yellow one this one's got some nice silver striping on the side this one's got like a really deep purple almost so you can see the s10 there and chevrolet and it almost looks like a a five but it's an s10 and on the front there you can see a read stopper four wheel drive just like this one here very cool stuff so if you're into trucks and all that cool stuff you're really gonna like this set try to get this set together it's kind of rare just because of the age of the set but they're out there trust me i've looked them up there's there's complete sets and full displays and stuff that you can pick up it might take you a little while but you can get the set together and that's it so there you go the little s chevy s10s the next two up are the rampage blue and white little four by four trucks and you can see right there so one is blue with like a red type pinstriping and this one's white with blue so the same model just different color variations and like i said the independent wheels are kind of cool missing a pullback feature which would have been perfect for this set but that's okay i don't mind it's still a fabulous little collectible set and nothing on the back let's see on the side it reads rampage right there and it's got some cool little molded lights at the top and that's about it so there you go it's a little four by four rampage trucks the next two are 4x4 blazers which look awesome 
I grew up seeing these everywhere, but these were really popular model of, of vehicle back in the day. You don't see them too much anymore. They're kind of an older, outdated model, uh, at least from my knowledge. But back in the 80s and 90s, when I was coming up as a kid, these were everywhere. These were really popular. You'd see them, people would have them for logging and fishing and just, just basic driving around. These are kind of nice looking. I like, just the, just the shape of these is very, very nice. And so you have the red one here, and you can read right there. On the top it says 4x4x4, four by 4x4x, four by four, four X, four X. and then the same thing over here. So you got the yellow with the green, and then you got the red with like the darker gray tint to it with the pinstriping paint there. And on the side right there, it reads blazer on both sides. And that's it. So there you go. We have the 4x4 four four blazer. The next two up are the 78 Renegade Jeeps. And we'll give you a little side-by-side -side comparison right here. You can see one's got like this... Uh, I don't know, beige. <laughs> I'm not that good with my colors with some white paint on there. This one's orange with yellow paint on it. And on the side, it reads 78, 4x4. Four four, and then we'll spin it to the back so you can take a look at the back of these. And right there, you can see where the bumper is. We have the word Jeep. So these are really kind of cool. Um, I don't know, man. Like, I I'm pretty sure you can still find these. Like, people still drive these. I've seen these around. So this isn't really out of date, this particular model. These Jeeps are actually, they've been around. They they're built well, too. And they got some lights on the top and everything. Very cool looking 4x4s. So off they go. And the last two in the base set are the Toyota Tercels. And these are actually really nice looking as well. Nice. I like the design on these. So you can see the pinstriping on here. So we got blue with yellow and a gray with a reddish beigeish beigeish color i don't know and let's see what does it read here on the back it reads toyota so you can see the word toyota on there and so what you can do with these is you can roll them around play with them you can create ramps you can, these are probably a little too big for like a hot wheels track or something but if you use your imagination you can come up with some cool stuff and like i said the little rubber tires and independent shocks and everything this is you know, these are kind of cool for the age and the time these came out. And they're very solid and heavy, solid quality plastic with these as well. And so there you go. You have the Toyota Tercel 4x4 stoppers. And here are the two under three toys. So you can see there's really not much different except for the rims. So if we do a comparison to the regular one versus the under three toy. So basically they're the exact same thing same paint paint scheme same model same everything except for the rims the regular issue has the white rims and the under three has the black rims so we'll give you a side by side comparison here you can see what i'm talking about there you go same exact color everything same model and then of course we have the the blue one and these of course are the toyota this, this one here is the little jeep and the Toyota Tercel. So there is the regular one. And of course, here is the under three with the black rims. So no, nothing else different except for that. That's, that's the distinguishable difference. And when you get the under three toys, you got a little insert with the under three package and you open this up. There's the little mail away limited edition stomper. This is a special offer sheet. You open this up and look what's inside. So you have a variety of stompers from back in the day. They had all kinds of stuff. You can see four-wheelers, all-terrain vehicles, speedsters. It wasn't just like four-by-four four, uh, trucks. You had a variety, and they're not showing them all here. If you do your research, you can see there's tons of other stompers, shapers for stompers that came out way back in the day. And then here's the coupon for the action power, the excitement of stomper save money too. And you flip it over, and there's a the little mail away. So you would fill this out, special rebate offer, save on stomper purchases, and then right here, proof of purchases. It tells you how you could send away right there for your special motorized real McDonald's mail-away stomper, which we have, and we need to take a look at that right now. And last up, we have the McDonald's mail-away exclusive stomper 4x4, and it came with these basic instructions, so we'll give you a look at that. We'll open this up and it tells you everything you need to know right here. Stopper authentic 4x4 battery instructions. It shows you how to pop the top off. You put the little battery in there. Shift switch instructions and you can read that. With the front vehicle facing you, push switch from the right to the far left position. Your stomper is now high for faster gears. By pushing the switch from the left to the far right, 
your stopper is now in the climbing or low gear. Your vehicle is in the off position when the switch tabs extend equally from both sides. So basically lining it up in the middle and whatnot. So let's take a look at this little gem of a toy. Very rare, especially in this condition. This is like in mint condition. There's really not too many flaws with it. You got just a slight little paint, little to do to do there. And that's just because it was resting in the box and everything else with it is like brand spanking new. And I'm proud of that because these are very hard to find and it's very heavy and weighty. So let's do a size comparison to show you. Here's an actual stopper that you could buy retail. And then here's the McDonald's version. And you can see the size difference. Of course, this is just a little plastic gimmicky little toy with some springs in there. This one is actually battery operated, electronic, and motorized. And so you come to the underside here and you got the little levers. You flip these on. Look at that. And then you push it to the middle. It's off and you flip it here. And now it's got like a more slow grind to it. And then you can see the headlights work right there. It's a working working light which I think is awesome and let's see let's grab a couple things here we're gonna grab let's see we're gonna grab these pencils let's see if we can get these get this to, to climb over the pencils like a little obstacle course and have some fun with it so you ready we're gonna flip it we're gonna put it on low so we'll do this and then we'll set it down and see what happens Whoa, wow. So let's flip it to the other side. There we go. And let's see if we can go over the pencils. Whoa, it just pushes them out of the way. I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna hold the pencils in place, like this. <laughs> no, get back over here. <laughs> Why it's so loud, it makes so much noise. Oh my goodness, this thing is so loud. I don't know if my cameras, you can tell it's loud in the camera, but trust me in person, this thing really is loud. And I love the chrome finish on this. You can see the McDonald's logo there. McDonald's logo there. So it wouldn't take much to get a little green, try to match that green up, just a little dab of paint on there, and cover up that little, little slight blemish. And other than that, it's like, it's uh, gem mint. Yes, it's quite the collectible. And believe it or not, there's actually a big niche collectible collector's uh, community out there for these stompers like it's I was surprised when I looked into it there's tons of people that collect these things and they can get quite expensive so I feel blessed that and lucky that I have the actual mail away version for this set to get all the others oh you spend a small fortune but anyway we need to take a look at that Happy Meal box too so here is the only Happy Meal box I can get my hands on and it's old too you can see it's got some gunk on there and everything but at least it's in pretty good shape and i know there's a few other happy meal boxes that came out but i couldn't get my hands on them over the last several weeks previously uh before i uploaded the video here i was looking to try to get my hands on some of the other ones and they just i don't know where to look i was on ebay and all kinds of places posting and asking and they're just hard to come by so i feel good that i just have the one to share and you can see here there's like little cutouts and different things you can do here a little crossword puzzle on there and then let's see right here hey grimace could you drive a four by four wearing your pajamas <laughs> and then it reads are you kidding they'd never fit <laughs> I don't know what any of that means, I guess. But anyway, you got some pop-out stuff here. And basically, you would create an obstacle course out of your Happy Meal box for your, your little stompers. And then, of course, right here it reads, Happy Meal Stomper Mini 4x4s, Quicksand Alley. And there's Birdie. And we got Ronald right there. And you can see the instructions on how to assemble your little race course thing pop these out and there's an alligator there so yeah lots of fun you could have had with these back in the day i personally i'm a collector now so i don't really want to mess with this too much but let's see i can show you yeah i, I picked this up secondhand i'm not the original owner of this i bought this years ago to add to the collection and i'm now just getting around to reviewing it and it shows you right here if you look right here let's see if i can get an up close look at this here we're going to have to look at it sideways because of the lighting. But if you see right there, you can see where you can make your Happy Meal box into a 4x4 four four, uh, place, like a, a, a obstacle course, if you will. And it shows you how to do that right there. But anyway, there you go, everyone. The McDonald's Stomper Happy Meal box.
And there you have it, everyone. McDonald's Stomper 4x4 Mini set of 19 awesome little toys released all the way back in 1986. I'm so happy to have this. I'm so glad I could share this with you guys. I've had this set for a lot of years, and I'm finally breaking it out to show it to you guys. And I'm so, so happy this mail-away stomper actually still worked. It's just a nice icing on the cake piece to add to this set. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. We'll see you next time. <laughs>